I just wanted to hop on and talk about hope today because, you know, we're heading into the weekend. We're kind of hoping for a break from the day to day and we're um, hoping for some nice weather to get outside to do something. There's a lot of hope that we have, you know, little teeny hopes. But in general, I find that a lot of people are afraid to have hope nowadays, like just kind of afraid to have hope. And I'll tell you why. People are afraid to have hope because they don't trust themselves. Let me, let me explain that because, you know, we're afraid of being disappointed. We think that we don't have hope because we're afraid that we're going to be disappointed. We think don't hope because you can protect yourself. If you protect yourself, then you won't be disappointed. You won't be sad. You won't be as devastated otherwise. And so we're really afraid to have hope because we think that hope means that we could get hurt. It makes us vulnerable. And I totally, completely, utterly disagree. I get it. I get it. I understand why our ego does this. It tries to protect us. It thinks, or I don't even know if the ego tries to protect us, but it tells you that it's trying to protect you. And uh, so it kind of keeps you stuck in, in terrible suffering. So uh, one of these examples is with hope, that, that people are so afraid to have hope because they're so afraid that they'll lose what they want, what's really, really precious to them. And it's not, they're not protecting themselves from being disappoint, disappointed, really. They just don't trust themselves that they could handle that disappointment. But let's face it, we've handled tons of disappointment in our life and we got through it. Maybe we don't. don't like having to do that, of course, but we can, we can get through it. And so if you stop trying because you don't want to have hope because you don't want to get disappointed, you will stay stuck and in, in, in a horrible place in your life. And what's the use of that? Right? So, um, that's why we don't have hope. That's why we're afraid to have hope, but hope is the answer. Hope and having faith and understanding what this all is about. Every Friday, I send a heavy soul message out. It's a half hour intuitive message um, through spirit, through me, and I record it audioly, and I send you the link every Friday if you subscribe to my happy soul messages. And I wanted to hop on because you got four hours to get today's message, and today's message I'm talking about why we're all here. What's the point of it all? I had a client who was like, I just feel like, what's the point? What's the point? Oh, that is a major, major phrase that goes through our head, isn't it? What's the point? All right, so um, just try. Just try to have a little hope today because it's not so bad, actually. It lifts you up. It makes you feel good. Um, it makes you see the positive. It really changes the whole mindset to have some hope. Don't be afraid of it. Really it's not so scary. It's a lot better than you think it is. All right, I'm Jody. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Please get notifications so you can see when I'm on because I don't schedule it. I'm just jumping on when I have the inspiration, and I really want to tell you something. Love you. Bye. Hello. Thanks for watching this. What do you want to do next? Do you want to get happy? Do you want to subscribe to my channel and keep coming back every time I put out a new video? Do you want to watch another video right now?